Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Jason back with another video. So, we gotta talk about the response Quite made uh, just a couple of days ago. And let me tell you, it was quite the response. From destroying the allegations made against him, to literally face doxing himself, to revealing personal and intimate information about himself about his personal self we're going to get into all of that and more uh but if you like the video if you like me covering this type of stuff make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and repeat but let's get into this whole situation and let's start off with um first the whole response as a whole quite made a video called for the record which is about an hour and 40 minutes long basically detailing and going over every bit of the allegations and not only uh combating it with actual evidence of what happened but he also gives us a testimony of orion from that day in their experience as they were telling it to another person and let me tell you it sounds like orion had two different two different viewpoints of those events in that little testimonial uh that they did apparently they had an amazing time seeing black panther with quite so much so that it made her blush well made them blush whenever quite told them after opening the door for them whenever they were about to get out of the car to go to the movie oh quite literally told her, them oh i care about you so much it was fun and i distinctly remember him getting out of my car but stopping midway and saying just remember i really care about you yeah yeah, yeah, a person that cares about you so much, then out of nowhere, rapes you, but for some unknown reason, you're still friends with them. Okay, okay, we're, I'm just gonna move past that. Uh, quite goes into more other, um, goes further on into the video detailing how some of the experiences that Orion, that he had with Orion, uh, when it came to just, you know, talking to them uh it seemed like orion was more or less the one that engaged the sexual talk going back to boundaries over physical actions on skype around april 2017 orion said he wished he could hug me when i was going through something tough i let him know that the gesture was appreciated but that platonic touch was complicated for me and i generally only wanted to cuddle or have that kind of contact with whoever my partner was at the time prolonged contact was my main issue i was generally fine with hugs of greeting or goodbyes and more casual forms of touch i have improved with time on this and i am more tactile with people that i'm comfortable with now but at the time this was a boundary i had clearly indirectly communicated to Orion. And to his credit, Orion did try to specify that whatever affection he had for me was platonic. However, just a few months later, when we first met up in June 2017, that respect didn't really hold up. You could argue that this is less serious considering that it was the day before we got together, but we also then broke up the day after. And at the time, the line was drawn clearly at platonic touch being uncomfortable for me. And for most of the day, it wasn't a problem. Orion would certainly do some casual touch, but I didn't really mind, like a hug when we saw each other, an arm on the shoulder. That wasn't a problem. In that sense and it honestly really seemed like the <laughs> the allegations itself was just flimsy and lazy and you know what it makes a lot of sense especially with this whole fake document that Orion came up with after the video was posted and, and, and it's amazing how nowadays you get to forge a uh, doc doc forge medical documents which is illegal yeah yeah forging medical documents is illegal but yet orion did it it's so weird because we know how parasocial how manipulative and how toxic orion was after hearing quite side of the story but for them to literally fake a medical document just just for people to believe them come on like this is this has to be one of the biggest jokes ever and you can't even call it a joke this is serious why because a man's career life has basically been destroyed and it's not even the fact that these are just allegations he didn't do this shit but these are allegations that a person a man period should not have against him this is literally a badge on his jacket that he cannot remove
because people already were calling him a pedophile i believe people still are calling him a pedophile like it's so fucked of how people literally just picked the side out of fucking nowhere just believed orion like just 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 flat out believed him I, like i i just i couldn't believe it and i i feel like we gotta talk about this too uh feel like um we gotta talk about this because it, it's pr it's pretty fucked up like you know quite went into like his sort of like personal life he, he detailed like you know some things that he rather keep personal in his life that he now has to come out and say he now has to reveal his face he or else how else was we supposed to and i'm sorry if i'm sounding like a retard but we he has to literally show his face when he didn't want to why why i ask because if he would have just hit his face the video wouldn't have seemed genuine to a lot of people he had to come and show his face show his face to show us that he's coming from a real genuine place he's coming from someone who isn't lying he's coming from a place where he wants nothing but the truth to be revealed even if that means i have to show you my true side my true face who i really am i will do that if it means bringing more strength to my side of my story and honestly i gotta say he he handled it pretty well he really did like he honestly knocked this out of the park and I gotta say I'm I, I I can't really say I'm proud of him cause you know like who who would be proud of having these type of allegations made about them and then they have to defend themselves no I, I can't really say I'm proud of that but I'm just happy that you know quite was able to uh, basically vindicate himself he was able to uh, let people know hey I'm I'm not a I'm not a pedophile. This person is lying. This person is a weirdo. They're manipulative. They're toxic. They're parasocial, and they're someone who's been uh, who's been uh, chomping at my at my ankles, trying to be a part of my life for years for no unknown reason. Like this person just won't leave me the hell alone, and now they're trying to get in by lying about me, f fucking them basically. Like, like literally, liter like literally, lied even lied about the, about quite making Orion buy them popcorn. But like, what the fuck? I I I, I don't understand the weirdness of these kids, of these motherfuckers on the internet. It is so bizarre. It is so degenerate. And Orion, go fuck yourself. Honestly, I just go fuck yourself. But honestly, we gotta like get a little bit more serious as I talk about this. So the whole crux as to how these allegations have been made false uh, by the court of public opinion is because quite said it himself. He is in fact a virgin. around the situation. My apprehension when it comes to sexual contact is not limited to Orion. Not only did I never have sex with him, I have never had sex with anyone. Even as of recording this video, I am still a virgin. It has been a long running insecurity of mine. Due to my general focus on work, the pandemic killing the ability to pursue anything in that vein for years, as well as causing me to backslide in my social ability and confidence like it did most people, a fair few of my friends have had to deal with me drunkenly venting about my nervousness around it. And it's something I have had casual discussions with my friends about nearly a year and a half after Orion claimed I had raped him. The part in those DMs where I mentioned me getting my penis sucked one time was in reference to summer 2018, right after my senior year ended. I was talking to a girl I was friends with from my school who had thrown a graduation party where we ended up making out. One of the nights after, I ended up at their place again and I got fellatio from them. I told my friend Ethan that we didn't go any farther because I didn't have condoms on me, but what I didn't mention was that I had her stop the oral early because I couldn't feel it or get my penis entirely hard. I can masturbate on my own just fine, but when it comes time to do the deed with someone else, my nerves have stopped me from being able to perform because I have incredibly bad sexual anxiety 
when it comes to the actual physical act. It's to the point where every time I've been in a real life sexual situation, it has caused me to be the one to back out of them before it can ever fully progress to intercourse. One person I did mention this insecurity to was Orion, who in late 2017, I vented to about an earlier incident where a boyfriend I had at the time was giving me a hand job, and I just could not get it up all the way or finish. I was already an insecure teenage virgin, and I was stupidly embarrassed about having these performance issues. So I essentially begged Orion not to share what I confided in him. Me and that boyfriend tried more than once and never figured it out, and my unsuccessful attempts to get it up persisted until just three months before the alleged rape. In front of millions of people. Yeah, this th this video for the record that Quite made is over has over a million views, a million hits. He had to admit to over a million people that he is in fact a virgin. How yeah, he can get it up by all by himself, but when he's with someone else and they're doing their thing, he can't do it. You know how fucking embarrassing that is? Do you, like do do you understand talking about your sex life? Talk about the shit that you're into. And another thing, something that a lot of people didn't know, that it that he had to <laughs> come out and say, quite gay. Yeah, yeah, qu quite gay. Yeah, yeah, Orion uh, came out or uh, is in fact a, a trans person who was transitioning into a guy. But yeah, qu quite, quite gay. Yeah, so he had to reveal a lot of about himself that wasn't for all of us to hear he basically put his own personal business out there just to protect himself and he doesn't even feel protected because he feels like now that i show my face if i go outside somebody is going to do something to me that people want to do to pedophiles now i'm not going to say what many of us would want to do to a pedophile if we seen him out in the streets because we all know they're monsters they're disgusting they're nasty they're degenerates and a lot of people including myself would want to do a lot of unsavory things to them that i would not want to say on this video but it's it it goes without saying it really goes without saying that you know this whole situation is just fucked like yes quite was able to vindicate himself was able to prove these allegations were false but at what cost this dude has no anonymity no more he has no privacy he goes out in public he is going to be recognized some people may fucking troll him and call him a pedophile like that shit is like that like that's funny like, like being called a pedophile was funny. Like, yeah, trolling. Yeah, cool. But when you're just somebody out in public and you're calling him, oh, you're a pedophile. That's not, there's no context into that. Like, you're, we're not online. So there's, that's no reason to make a joke out of it. Like, that, that's not funny. And, you know, like, you even have quite even bringing out loads and loads of conversations that they had with Orion. Like, and it seemed like it's like every conversation they have in a Google Dropbox from Discord. Like, my, my man proved himself to be innocent. But I ask again, at what cost? At what cost? Because he cost his privacy. He cost his personal love life to be exposed. Because let's be honest, um anyone who's anyone doesn't want to be known for this or be known for that quite wants to i'm pretty sure quite wants to be known as a youtuber not as that gay youtuber who was falsely accused of being a pedophile like literally tell, tell me how that sounds tell, tell me how that sounds it sounds fucked up right it sounds ignorant right it sounds retarded right well it is Honestly, Orion's a piece of shit. They deserve no charitability. They deserve nothing. And I recently heard that they are still trying to uh, say that quite is this, quite is that. Oh, he did this and did that. And is like making up the allegations as she's going. I mean, as they're going. My bad. I, I keep calling Orion a she when they are a he slash they. So my apologies, but dude, you fucked up. You 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 are so fucked up. And quite, I gotta say, dude, I'm really fucking sorry 
for any of this coming towards you i hope you uh get the help that you need well i don't even say help because you really didn't do anything i really hope that you um take that time to honestly reflect on a lot of shit uh realize that you know people on the internet should just be people on the internet and people in your real life should just be people in your real life there like honestly people need to understand there needs to be a separation between the two yeah some of us grew up on the internet some of us you know of course have you know been on the internet for so long that some of our online friends are just our friends understandable fact that you know you have motherfuckers lying about allegations and putting it online and now people are believing it like honestly it's to the point where everyone's an npc everyone believes everyone everyone believes everything and i and that's what i want to get into for this last part of this video this whole culture of believe all victims has to fucking stop it has to stop it has to stop why because sometimes and i gotta say this but sometimes and most times people fucking lie in fact not even most times all the time people fucking lie people lie for their own personal reasons obviously for orion's reason they wanted to be with quite they're like oh my god he's a rapidly growing fast growing youtuber maybe if i get in with him i'll have some type of clout that's what this whole all was was a clout move was a clout move for Orion and now they're looked at as a as a fucking asshole or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call Orion anymore because there's a lot that you can say about them but they're fucking but they're fucking retarded they are fucking irrelevant and these allegations are retarded and stupid but like I said guys don't believe all victims because and this is just me being serious here yes it is always good to hear a person out because you may never know if these if all, any of this is true it's always good to hear a person out it's always good to hear a side but don't ever pick a side don't ever go out your way to don't 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 do anything why because when you're doing something you're picking a side no matter what it is just better to just hear them out, wait until both sides stated their sides or stated their opinions or stated their, their sides of the story and make your own conclusion. That's it. Why I say this? Because Quite was literally getting canceled. He was literally getting canceled. Like literally, he was getting canceled. Getting canceled. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. But personally, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here because at this point, what more What more can I say? What, what more can I say? Let's stop trying to believe all victims and let's go about this uh, uh, smart. Let's not try and do this whole mob mentality on the internet thing because this hurts a lot of people this hurts the uh this hurts the victims this may hurt the person that's actually being accused because honestly they they're innocent but anyways guys like i said i'm gonna have to end the video here this has been your boy jason the only face general himself if you like the video if you like me covering this type of stuff make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and repeat the like subscribe and repeat and make sure you follow me on twitter this has been your boy jason again the only face general himself signing out peace